What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're going to be unboxing the new Silver Wolf Tcon. It's an AC motor setup. I've had this motor set up for about maybe two, two and a half weeks now, and I've not opened it. We're not going to be installing it on today's video. We're just going to be opening it and checking it out and uh, looking at it and all of that. Just basically doing an unboxing. I have not yet seen these motors or controllers anywhere online with actual pictures. Um, everything's been like, you know, stock photos and and stock product advertisements and stuff like that. And we're gonna be uh, putting it on my Club Car President probably in the next couple of weeks. But on today's video, we're just going to go and unbox it, check it out and uh, see exactly what it looks like and what you get in this package. Stay tuned. So as uh, previously stated, this is the Tcon, uh, just like it uh, looks, I guess, T-E-E-K-O-N by Silver Wolf. This is going to be for the club car president here. This package here is 11 pounds. Um, only thing this is just for shipping here. So we're going to open it up for the first time and check it out. So to start off with, it looks like it's well packaged. Still, I have not looked at it yet. Uh, first thing we get here is uh, it says two boxes. It's got the Silver Wolf warranty coverage. Let's check this right here out. So they give you a couple of stickers in the package here. Pretty cool. Um, this just got my information on it and it's coming from Silver Wolf in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. So this is the installation and service manual here. And um, everything looks to be colorful so far. We'll get into a lot more of this later on. That's what the controller looks like. And still, I've not yet seen the controller because it's in here, but this also has like your um, your connector for your system here. And if this is the motor, which I think it is, it's going to be a lot shorter, uh, a lot more compact than the, the Vetus that I have on here now. And I'm not knocking the Vetus, that's not what this is about. Uh, I've just seen this kit online and I've not seen anybody else install one or use it and then i wanted to check it out so yep very colorful information here it also has an application for your phone and uh everything there Let's see what else is in the package here next thing we come to is the cabling kit about this cable kit here is everything is uh, uh, labeled by colors here you got your blue you got your red green yellow and black there um, so everything should be good to go this is very heavy duty two gauge cable um, and also has some split looming on there as well and um, so these are right here is going to replace looks like the stock uh, power and ground cables to the system here and uh, I assume these right here are going to go to um, the controller to the motor here what's great about this like I mentioned it's color coded and uh, such so we'll get into that on the next video this right here is going to be the connector let's see exactly what it looks like every uh, all the spots there this right here is supposed to plug into the controller itself and it's got some spots here i guess you can mount it somewhere so once we get into the install process of this i'm sure there'll be more information about this right here as we go next thing we have is uh, some zip ties some mounting hardware here and this is the controller itself and it's got a little bit of weight to it maybe a couple of pounds here feels pretty solid This 
talking about a warning here talking about using lock washers and a regular flat washer and uh, a pre-charged resistor on the solenoid must be used uh, we'll definitely keep all of this right here so this is the first time actually holding um, the controller actually looking at it for the very first time it looks to be very solid here and as you can see on the end cap there it's got accelerated systems incorporated on the other end cap it says the same thing on the front on the back or you know the back in the front here's the back side itself you have your u your v your w you have your positive and your negative right there you have some supports here for the controller itself very heavy oh i wouldn't say very heavy about about four or five pounds when i was looking at it online i was like wow this kind of looks plasticky but actually holding it now it it seems to be very well built and i uh, cannot wait to get it on so that is the controller i think it looks pretty good what do y'all think so when both of these boxes arrived a couple of weeks ago at the house i was thinking to myself man i'm i've been shorted a box ain't no way in the world this could be the motor and that's the controller i thought maybe this would have was had the controller in it this right here had the wires in it um actually this is the motor here uh the motor weighs it says here 41 pounds and if you remember correctly i want to say the navitas motor weighed around like 70 pounds so uh this is going to weigh a lot less and it looks like it's a lot shorter even if it has packaging in here as well so let's open this right here up check it out check exactly how it was being shipped um, also check out the motor itself number one it's got the staples in it here as well like plum quick uses the staples when they ship their motors so this right here is a pretty good sign of a great shipping quality here So they had, what, 12 staples just in, well no, they had more than that. There's almost 24 staples holding this right here box together. I know that doesn't make much sense to some people, but to me, uh, if I'm gonna spend enough money on a product, I wanna make sure it's shipped well. And this right here looks to like it's shipped well to me here. see what we have we got some tape uh, it looks like we have a piece of plastic here which it is a piece of plastic looks like some ABS plastic and what it's doing it is covering the shaft of the motor there which is a pretty good idea so that's there I'll remove that not sure if I can cut this tape or rip it with my hand or not but yep got it Let's pull off this piece of styrofoam here and check out that motor boys i mean this is very very compact so it also says here on the internal portion of the motor it says accelerated systems incorporated let's pull it out and check it out So this is the motor and on the motor is has a cable here. So I believe this right here is going to be your, maybe your speed sensor, maybe your temperature sensor and all and that's already built onto the motor itself. So move these out of the way. This motor is a lot, a lot narrower than the Navitas AC motor. This says it's a 12 horsepower motor. It accepts voltage from 48 to 72 volts. It's got an 8,000 RPM rating. It's got your part numbers and everything there. This is just a product is Silver Wolf Tcon. And it's the AC-PM motor. Now here on the top of the motor here, you have your W, 
your V and your U connections there. Those are gonna go to your uh, controller. But a lot of people were having issues with mounting um, the Navitas on like club car DS's because of the room. But this is so much shorter than the Navitas and it might be something you'd wanna check out for yourself as well. So we're not gonna be installing this on a club car DS at the moment, we may in the future. But right now we're gonna put this on my club car president. That's not gonna be in today's video, but I just wanted to unbox everything and show you guys and check it out for myself. See what you think. It looks like to be a pretty good build quality. Um, motor has some weight to it, but it's still very short, very short motor. You know, as far as off the axle goes to itself there. All right guys, so let's uh, check out this app here. Just go ahead and open it up. This is the Silver Wolf app. Um, this is the home screen here. Uh, we're going to get very familiar with it here in just a minute here. I'm going to go ahead and start the simulation. It's kind of like a demo mode. This has got your speedometer at the top, your F and R switch, standard mode in the middle. It's got your voltage, your current, your motor temp, your power output, your battery off to the right here. And uh, we're going to go back into the different modes here, I believe, in just a second here. Once we get into those different modes, you can see it's got turtle mode, long range, you got your standard, you have standard LSV, and you have your sport mode. Now the two modes, the standard LSV and sport, and you need a sign a waiver to unlock those. This is going to be your advanced settings, um, maximum speed, power output, acceleration, braking, aggressiveness, uh, throttle sensitivity, and your default regenerative braking. You have your miles per hour, and you also have your kilometers per hour as well. And once we're going to go hit the back button right here, go back to your home screen. As you see, it's still the simulation's still going on. And we're going to do the uh, vehicle diagnostics here. This is shows the vehicle diagnostics of the golf cart. Still, again, guys, we're in a um, demo mode, but lets you know everything that the application monitors while you is connected to your golf cart, and it has like um, your vehicle flags and and other things as well, input voltages, battery status, faults, the whole nine yards. We can go back over here to uh, settings, um, and we're gonna go back again to the calibrate throttle, I do believe. Uh, now, since the is not installed into the golf cart, we can't go any further on this right here step. I was trying to, to see exactly what else I had, but pretty much we can't do it. It also lets you change the language as well so just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison with the navitas to this to show you the length versus the length of this right here much much shorter you're probably saving i don't know about five inches maybe five or six inches between this motor and the navitas motor i'm not saying the navitas is a bad motor the only thing i'm showing you is the difference between this ac setup here and this ac setup there and this was the unboxing for the Silver Wolf T-Con. So that being said, in a few weeks, we're gonna be installing this on this golf cart here, so stay tuned.